David Kahn. Hi, yes. my name is David Cam, and welcome to uh, the World Social Forum 2016 in Montreal. Um, wish everyone was here, and we're all the, all of us activists are here. I think there's between 10,000 to 80,000 activists from around the world coming together to August make the world. August 9th to 15, 2016 for the Deep Archives. Yes, and uh, right now I'm sitting at the table for the Elite Manifesto. I don't know if you've yeah, ever yeah. heard about the... We're in the press room, by the way. The Elite Manifesto with uh, Naomi Klein. She's going to be here uh, tomorrow. And uh, also we're going to have... Uh, a gathering where we're gonna make a huge uh, with the archicopter. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm and we're trying. gonna go uh, live, and we're gonna try to create a human. So it's 100 uh, percent renewable here, and uh, we're inviting everybody to come here, so to see, uh, to join us. You know, um, that is uh, <laughs> happening uh, tomorrow, and uh, hopefully uh, uh, people will come. Yeah, and there's a few events with... Uh, there's a few events with Naomi Klein. Yeah. And um, uh, this, is a, yeah. this is uh, in English um, here. It says, uh, there, uh, there is uh, the... They see that aerial art is uh, leaping together, aerial art from... That's at 2.45 p.m. Yeah, 2.45 at Mount Royal Park. Then uh, this changes everything, a screening of the movie at 4 p.m. at Concordia University Auditorium. Then uh, on August 11th, uh, there's and a... And there's a Q&A with uh, filmmaker Avery uh, Lewis and his wife, and Naomi Klein. Uh, that's over there, it's out of focus, but yeah. That's tomorrow, August 10th, and then the 11th. There's the panel discussion. I think I'm going to do that for sure because it's Naomi Klein and Alan Gabriel, Mohawk, uh, you know, Maud Barlow, of, uh, <laughs> the mad Maud Barlow, and Mike Palachek, who's the national president of Cup W, Canadian Union of Postal Workers. And, and then after at one to three, there's an interactive workshop where people can participate. It's not only a discussion, yeah. but it's uh, people working together on the Leap Manna Festival to make changes. And um, then there is a ch this one, the change the system, not the climate. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, mm -hmm. you know, uh, well, that's with Naomi Klein. Yeah, Naomi Klein again. Yes. We've live streamed her before. Yes. Thank you. And that's the Leap Manifesto? Yeah, that's the Leap Wolf Manifesto. At the, just search that, folks. Yes, uh, and we have and Bianca also, here. Uh, Bianca? Okay, yeah. so Bianca? Just We're live to the world. Stream. Say hello, world. Hi. <laughs> We're just talking about some of the events. Do you want to add anything? Um, sure, yeah, we're at the World Social Forum in Montreal. I'm Bianca, I'm with the Leap Manifesto, mm -hmm. um, which is a call for Canada based on caring for one another and the Earth. And we've got a ton of amazing events, so if you're in Montreal, you should come to them. Tomorrow we're doing this super cool art aerial uh, kind of like mm -hmm. display. Yeah. Can you see that? It's kind of similar yeah. to the one yeah. that happened in Paris, but it's going to be somebody leaping, so that's really tiny. There's that, and that's tomorrow at Parc um, du Montréal. So if you're watching this and you're in Montreal, please do come out at 2.45 mm -hmm. to um, Parc Montréal. Yeah. And um, other events, we've got lots of events with Naomi Klein, author and activist. Mm -hmm. um, we've got a film screening, this changes everything. We've got um, a conversation with trade, trade unionists and Ellen Gabriel and Maude Barlow from the Council of Canadians. And we're going to have this amazing interactive workshop where we're actually just going to get busy and organize because we think of all of you as organizers. So come to everything. Just come. Just come to all of these events. They're all going to be amazing. All right. See, see you there. Woo! Thank you, Bianca. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, and uh, maybe your maybe Earth uh, dollars. Uh, yes, yes. Actually, um, uh, this is Ambassador David. Uh, 
Yes, I just wanted to show you. I mispronounced your last name. It's been a while. This is uh, called the Earth Dollar. Nelson Mandela. Yes. That's 100 Earth Dollars. Yes, uh, this Earth Dollar is uh, a new... Uh, and the other side? Yes, sure. Here. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, this is a new asset-backed currency that the uh, indigenous nations have uh, pledged their land, uh, their na uh, water, trees, mineral rights, taxes, and everything on the land to back a new currency called the Earth Dollar. And uh, the Earth Dollar itself is sort of a manifestation uh, of one of the, the lead manifesto of uh, Naomi Klein. We're not uh, associated with them yet. Um, but we're t the idea is that... And we're at their table here in the press We're room. at their table. And, uh, and uh, the whole idea behind an uh, asset-backed currency is that this uh, currency is backed by uh, the assets and the rights of Mother Earth. So if people start uh, polluting the water and the trees, it brings down their own personal wealth. But if they keep the waters uh, clean and the trees uh, growing lush, it actually increases in the value every year because every year it, uh, a tree would add a ring called uh, wood density and the tree grows by 2.718% per year. So, uh, it's, uh, so the value of the earth dollar increases in value every year as you keep the trees uh, uh, and nature uh, uh, pristine and untouched. So it actually it stops the mining uh, and logging around the world because the value is in uh, protecting the nature instead of destroying it. Right now, uh, the extractive industry, including fracking, uh, pipelines, and uh, clear-cutting of trees is destroying the planet, including the Tarzans. And recently, we had a huge leak of uh, husky oil uh, in uh, Manitoba, there's a huge leak there that uh, destroying uh, well, that's the river. Saskatchewan, I think. Yeah, in Saskatchewan. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, it's not Manitoba. So Saskatchewan. That destroying not yet the water. in Manitoba. In Manitoba, okay. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. So it's getting there, and uh, it is uh, uh, destroying the drinking water. And now uh, the, we should. I don't think we should have oil pipelines uh, and also fracking as part of a human society because uh, what's more important than clean water uh, and uh, that we need you know to drink we don't need the oil there's other alternative sources of energy and uh, and i think that society should take a leap towards the new way of uh, mm -hmm. living with, uh, instead of uh, living uh, with competition uh, destruction and death to live in harmony with nature, of caring for one another as a new way of uh, thinking in society, and also to for peace. Uh, right now, war they spend 1.7 million, uh, 1.7 trillion dollars a year on war, while peace uh, they don't see it as as uh, having any value. So our idea behind the Earth Dollar is to bring the value to things that we care about, including love the care of Mother Earth, peace, the family, and uh, things like that. So we're going to launch this in uh, September, on 21st, the International Day of Peace. And, and on the Equinox. Yes, that's the Equinox. And also, we're implementing a World Basic Income Program to about 6.5 million people, that uh, people will receive a monthly income to protect Mother Earth. So uh, we have uh, the program is starting in uh, uh, northern Quebec and northern Ontario uh, to about the two million people. Mm -hmm. Then we have about fifteen thousand people in uh, British Columbia. We're giving a uh, uh, basic income to, and in Ghana we're providing basic income to two point one six uh, million people in uh, Africa, and. Um, we have other uh, country, uh, northern India, we're still completing the agreement. I think we're providing around uh, basic income to 5 million people. Mm -hmm. uh, the in basic income is around 60% of your, your, uh, the average income of a country that you're going to receive on top of the existing mm -hmm. income. And, um, and uh, they just have to uh, pledge to protect uh, Mother Earth 
and produce, to uh, live a sustainable life and they get paid for it. We pay them to do it. And mm -hmm. uh, hopefully you will support what we're doing. Nice. Uh -huh. And maybe let's go talk to Ricochet Media. Okay, sure. Gabriel. Gabrielle, we're live. Hello, world. Hi. Gabrielle, co founder of Ricochet Media. Hi. <laughs> Love, a huge fan. Uh, so, tell us uh, what Ricochet Media is going to be. Uh, we're in the press room here at yeah, SAT at 1201 Saint Laurent. Exactly, and uh, at Ricochet, we have a small team. Uh, who's on the field right now, so they're starting to make some contacts, they're going to uh, go to uh, different activities uh, during our week, uh, covering um, uh, the march uh, that's going to happen today, and then the show tonight, and throughout the week, uh, different uh, activities on, on major issues that we cover uh, outside the FSM, but that we, we want to talk about this week and uh, so yeah, we have a little team and we're, we're basically all around. So, yeah. Nice. It's going to be a busy week. It it's is. just day one. Yeah, it's just day one. We're wondering uh, how many people uh, are coming to Montreal. Uh, we know that some of the people... I'd say were... 50 to 80,000 is the normal. Yeah, but exactly. They've gone to the previous ones. Yeah, and we have... Uh, we think that it's too bad, though, that some people can't enter the country. Visa. Yeah. African, What's African Trudeau people? thinking? Denying visas. I don't know. We we thought. How that many do you know? How many what? Were denied uh, entry. Uh, I don't know yet, uh, but I, I know that one African uh, uh, woman who's, who's pretty famous and who's a, a United Nations uh, uh, delegate uh, couldn't go. Um, and that was too bad because she was supposed to, to, to assist and to give some, some allocutions uh, during the week. So, no, I don't really know. But that's too bad. And, but it was a risk of organizing a, a, a World for a Social Forum uh, in a North country, right? Because all the other ones happen in the South. And I think those, those, those visa problems were less... Uh, were less uh, tragic, but here uh, we had a conservative government, and I think uh, in Quebec, in Quebec, yeah. yeah, and in federal too. We just Who's the premier for those that in of Quebec? Quebec. Um, his name is Philippe Couillard, and uh, yeah, it's a, we have a very uh, left uh, kind of government here, and on a federal level. Uh, Justin Trudeau, I think, is trying to make up for some of t t 10 years of conservatives, but it's a long way to go, right? <laughs> yeah, but he's still denying entry visas. But he's still denying entry, so um, yeah, that, that's a, and that's too bad because uh, the World Forum, uh, Social Forum, would have been a good op opportunity to... Uh, and the organizers from day one, yeah. they've had, even under Harper, they had a liaison from the head organizers here exactly. and a PMO, the Prime Minister's Office liaison, so which exactly. you think would be easier under Trudeau, and I guess it doesn't matter. Exactly, so uh, yeah, that's, that, uh, that's a critique we can address uh, our government for sure, yeah. uh, especially for uh, such a... A nice uh, event like this. It's, it's not. It's not that political. It's not. It's more social, right? So, yeah. and it would have been great to have more, more international people, which we don't have access to in, in other like situations. But uh, I think we'll we'll be. Uh, but at least it's in Canada. So, yes, we expected some of this. Can you imagine if it was in the States now? The only way you can get a World Social Forum is if the city had a revolution. Exactly. We got it here because of the Quebec Student Revolution exactly. in 2012. The only other North American city would be Ferguson, mm -hmm. but I don't think they can finance something like this. Plus, it's in the U.S. of A. Mm -hmm. no, and, like, 
No, for sure. I'm Everybody would just get denied visas. Yeah. I don't think it will ever be in the States. Of course, and I, no, I don't think it could happen in the States, especially uh, if, uh, for example, the next president is Trump. <laughs> I can't uh-huh. imagine uh, an event like that taking place in the States. With Trump as, uh, or Hillary Clinton, it doesn't matter. No, They're no, the same. Both, right. They're the both, same. Both, both, both. So, uh, so yeah, but uh, I mean, good things will still happen this week, this week and we're looking forward to, to meet some people and to, to talk about the uh, issues, the uh, larger issues uh, that we cover uh, all year through, right? We, at Ricochet, we. We cover indigenous uh, issues a lot, environmental things. Um, so yeah, it'll be a good opportunity to, to just talk about as many things as we can and to meet interesting people like yourself. <laughs> yes, and, and tell, uh, remind the world what your name is. My name is Gabrielle Brassard. I'm a journalist and co-founder of uh, Ricochet Media, which is a, a bilingual media uh, throughout Canada. We have one team in Montreal and another one in Vancouver. And we have uh, we work with uh, freelancers all around uh, the country and at, an international uh, level too, because we think that it's important to talk about what's happening and elsewhere. And the website is Ricochet. It's uh, ricochet.media. Nice. So then you can choose your English or French version. Yar. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you, Gabrielle. Bye. Yar. We're in the press room here at SAT. They got your tweets. This is set for, this is uh, Forum Social Mondial in French or World Social Forum. Those are the two official hashtags. And Stacks is short. It, from Ferguson is here. Um, two days ago until today, this is the last day of the uh, um, the uh, World Forum on Free Media is happening at McGill. She's there. I'm going to join her at the march at 5.30. I'm going to be uh, live streaming the, the opening march. That's from Park uh, La Fontaine to, uh, I believe it's called Park the Festival. Uh, and it, the march ends around 7. And at 7.30 till about 11, there's huge festivities. Uh, the World Social Forum is... Uh, Uh, inviting all of Montreal to join in on that and it's going to be a huge night Uh, I'm just easing into it I'm aiming knock on wood Pinocchio um, to do about a hundred live streams Uh, it's six days this is day one this is Tuesday August 9th 2016 for the deep archives and uh, that's Boulevard Saint Laurent and uh, yeah, some art. That's the Leap Manifesto table there. They're going to be using ARC. Hello, Marie. We're live. Would you like to say uh, something, you, Marie? And you're with? I'm with uh, Villagement. We are preparing a press conference. To announce uh, our partnership with uh, cooperation, uh, international cooperation organism, which is Unitera. Ta-da. Yeah, nice. And what is Unitera? Unitera and Village Monde are helping little village for ecotourism. Uh, we are uh, mapping those villages. Uh, we offer them to promote worldwide. Uh, yeah, worldwide, and it's only community mm-hmm. community based tourism uh, with sustainable travel. That that's our uh, aim. So to help them and to give them a platform as well. So you can just go see at Village Mall where you can travel and help little villages just to, by traveling there. Nice. And it's U-N-I-T-E-R-R-A. Which is the organization. Dot C-A. No, the, uh, the, uh, the platform is Village Mall. It's V-A-V-I-L-L-A-G-E. M O N D E dot com. Okay. Thank you. Yar, and you can rewind. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, yeah of yeah. Village Monde. Village Monde, exactly. Yeah, M O N D E, a French for world. Yeah, for, for world. Dot com. Yes. <laughs> Dot com. <laughs> yes. So bye -bye. Beautiful. Thank you. Merci. Computers, bloggers. And this is the official program book. <laughs> World Social Forum, that's the French version from Social Mondial. There, they got a nice poster with the whole world, with those, all these faces. South America, North America on the cover, because first time, this is the 12th one. The first World Social Forum started in Brazil. In 2001, uh, but they've missed enough years. This is the first time it's been back to back. 2015 was Tunis, Tunisia. Um, uh, first time it was back to back years since 2006, 2007. They've missed a lot of years. Uh, so, uh, and this is Montreal. Okay, so I'll leave it at that, and um, yeah, I'll do some more um, live stream, but at 5.30 Eastern Standard Time here in Montreal, my name is Dee Shanger, I'm a mod and live stream director at Occupy Toronto live stream, got my uh, press credentials here. Press ER. There we go. And uh, yeah. So this is that. And uh, so I'll do more between now and five thirty. It's uh, what time now? It's uh, yeah, it's 1.30 now. So in four hours will be the opening March from 5.30 to about 7. And then around 7.30 uh, till midnight, there's going to be all kinds of festivities. And those are the Unity events, the opening March, and the, the one event tonight. Uh, there's a few other things going. I'm hoping to run into Stacks is short and finally meet the sista from Ferguson tonight in person. Uh, and uh, yar, so yar yar and yar. And uh, this is where you get your press credentials. Let me show you a bit of Montreal. Yar. Hello world, we're live. <laughs> Got a t-shirt. Yeah, this is the poster. And this is the official website, fsm2016.org. Now some people say org, but we pirates, we don't. And this is, uh, it's pretty concentrated. I'm gonna go outside for Quick smoke and just show you that. Yar. And Rue Saint Laurent. Yeah. Society the Arts Technology. Uh, sorry about that pronunciation. That's what SAT stands for. You want to learn DJing and VJing?
all kinds of stuff. SAT for short. Yes. Alrighty. And uh, this is what they're having a participatory newsroom at the World Social Forum. So I'm going to end this segment, uh, but stay tuned all week uh, till Sunday. I'm aiming to do 100 live streams. This is the first one. Okay. So thanks for tuning in and yar yar and yar and yar. Another world is needed. Together, it is possible. Okay, ciao, folks. See you soon. Just stay tuned here. Ciao.